Hi, everybody. My name is John DiPietro. And I'm Bob Zagami with the Camper Report Show. And we are fresh off the Hershey RV Show, America's largest RV show. I had a chance to view a firsthand view inside and out of the brand new Airstream range line class B. You're going to really love this one. Yep. And I've got an interview with Claude Donati at Nexus inside an unbelievably priced Super C. And we talk about Super C's in general. So it'll be a good equipment show tonight. Wow. B's and C's. That's kind yes. of like my report card in high school. You didn't get any A's? <laughs> no, I got those in eighth grade once I hit oh. high school. Oh, <laughs> no oh. More. okay. But we're going to talk about those, and we're going to talk about all the news of the week that we get from our friends at RV Business and Woodall's Campground Magazine. Where, Bob? At the Camper Report Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Camper Report Show. My name is John DePietro. We're at the news segment of our show. And, uh, Bob, we just got back from the Hershey RV Show, and our friends Mike and Jennifer Wendland were there as well. And they're talking about, uh, or actually they were talking with some actual RVers that attended the show and some of the um, challenges that they think they're going to be facing in 2023. Go over a couple of those, would you? Yeah, they uh, they walked around the show and they were highly recognizable and people were happy to see them and talk to them. And they spent a couple of minutes with them, each of them, talking about some of the things that they worry about going into 2023. Because these are really highly active RVers. Yeah. A lot of them are full timers. The first one that was that was on everybody's mind was inflation. They they still are concerned about the inflation and getting it under control. That's that's going to be a, a big issue. And I don't know so, why, because there is no inflation. It's it's just an right. inch. It's just right. It's inch, so. it only went up it only went up an inch. It only went up an right. inch. So right. I don't know. Uh, what else? Yeah, they um uh, they also worried about high fuel prices are a major challenge for RVs. And there's a lot of economists that feel we've really bought them out on the gas prices. They're going to start going back up again as we hit the winter uh, with home heating oil, with uh, eating up some of the reserves there. Um, the long RV service waits and part shortages. That's that's still going along at a slow pace. But I think it's getting better, had, though. Hmm? Right? It's getting better. Parts. It is getting better with getting the... Better. Uh, Repair event cycle time. The, yep. the the supply chain for parts is much better. Uh, units are leaving the factory with all the things that they're supposed to have in them. So yeah, that that I think is not going to be an issue. Come and and just look around. The the inventories that are at the dealers right now are massive. So yep, you you can walk in and, and the prices are dropping. Um, dwindling number of privately owned campgrounds. That's a concern to a lot of campers. A lot of campers like a little quiet mom and pop campground without the big resorts. But that's that's typical of any business when you get consolidation. You're going to have the big companies and there's some place for them with big resorts. You're going to have the small mom and pops that you want to just get away for a weekend by a quiet stream. So it's not going to put anybody out of business. It's just that the changing habits of the RVs are looking at it. Mm -hmm. One more. Well, national, give me a positive one. Give me a positive one. National, well, National Park, this is kind of not positive, though. The National Park entry hassles and boondocking pressures. There's a lot of pressures on boondocking. And what, what some people may not realize, it is now illegal for you to shoot a video. So we get all these content creators out there, all these YouTubers. They cannot shoot a video in a national park where they generate income from it. It is actually illegal. That's going to be it's going to be fought. Uh, yeah, good, good, good luck. Good luck trying right. to enforce that. Right, and and trying to chase them all down. Right. Uh, I'll give you one on, on the good side is prices are dropping. There were some incredible prices at the Hershey Show, and that sets the tone for consumer shows going right through April and May. So we're back to big inventory. So you have a great selection of product, reduced prices. So you're going to even though there's inflation. You're going to pay a lot less for that RV than you would have a year ago. Yep. And you know what? The other good thing is that no matter how many of those minor obstacles you have to overcome, RVing, it's still the best way to get from point A to point B if you've got family members and have some time to make that trip. Because yeah. you know what? Staying in your own bed, using your own facilities, cooking your own food. Still beats as you and I know in our recent right. trip. Yeah. It still beats yeah. those public bathrooms at right. roadside rest areas. And they are not going to stop 
Yeah. Camping. Yep. That's, that's for sure. Yep. Um, yep. Now, right on the heels of uh, Hershey, you'll be going out to Elkhart next week for dealer open house, which is the big extravaganza. Yep. And between between my back and my positive COVID test today, I'm not going with you. So, yeah, go um, so, <laughs> so, so, so have fun. Uh, but you'll be a busy man. Well, you know what? We're going to see all of the major manufacturers and uh, and the suppliers. And over the next, I don't know, probably the next two months, we're going to be bringing you the features that we see because there's so much new stuff. And when I say stuff, there's so many new new elements of RVing that are on the horizon, whether it be, um, you know, electronics, whether it be batteries, whether it be solar power, um, and all of those are incorporated into the new units and the new units, um, you know, are all going to be on display. So stay with us here on the Camp Report Show over the next few weeks and you'll see all that new stuff. And one of the uh, great, you know what? One, there's, oh, boy, jump to number three. One of the great things about Elkhart and the RV industry in general Food. People move around. Well, the food is definitely good. So you'll have to pack up some elephant ears and, elephant and bring them. Tell Doug get it at Forest River. Right. Put a few aside for me. But it's amazing how many people move around and start different companies through the years. And you'll you'll be uh, uh, going to the Brinkley RV open house. Yep. And this is the Fennec brothers and Mika Staley and uh, Nate Goldenberg and they came out of Grand Design, they came out of Thor Industries, and they're starting another company, and it's going to be very successful. They got different views because the industry evolves and consumer evolves. Uh, desires evolve. So yep. they're going to be having a uh, reveal of the first uh, Brinkley RV. Yep. And then and if, you're, also... if, you run, if, you, if you run down it, if you, if you look at the uh, the other things that you might see out there, you, you mentioned the Airstream uh, range line. Uh you know, there's there's going to be airstream is going to have a new product. Almost everybody's going to show either a new so, product yeah. or a new floor plan. They they don't let the dealers go there without enticing them to buy something else. Yeah. And at the same time that we're going to be meeting with brand new companies, there's a company that's celebrating its 35th anniversary. Talk about yeah. Dutchman. Yep, Dutchman from 1988 to 2023, 35 years, and they became part of. Thor, boom, back, I guess they were part of uh, Keystone at the time, back in 2001. Yeah, so yeah. That, 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 that's going to be a big display, what they have there, right, over there. But, you know, when you look at Thor Industries, which always is headquartered over at the Hall of Fame in their history, in 2001, they purchased Keystone. 2003, they purchased Damon and Breckenridge. That's where Bill Fennick came out of. 2004, they purchased Crossroads, 2010, Heartland, 2016, Jayco, 2018, Barefoot Caragans over in the Great Britain, 2020, Tiffin, 2021, Air Excel, which was the first time that a major RV manufacturer bought a major component right. manufacturer right at the height of the, the shortage. And then stuck in there, they purchased Heimer Group from uh, Germany. So now Thor Industries is the largest RV manufacturer in the world. In the world. And in the world. Uh, we'll be there eating their prime rib. We'll be there yeah. eating. Uh, I won't be eating lobsters or shrimp or other stuff, but they'll have that available. And no, uh, no, there's plenty of other people that eat the lobster and shrimp, John. It, absolutely. But uh, yeah. you know what? We're looking forward to it. It's going to be a um, uh, three solid days of, of nonstop work from, from seven in the morning. I, I get to, uh, I want to get this, Bob. I get to be the... Uh, MC for RVWA, the RV Women's Alliance, their breakfast on Tuesday morning. Yeah, and, we um, we should we should put a press release out about that because that was a, a late that was late breaking news yesterday late afternoon. News. Just, Just they selected confirmed. you to MC. Yep. Yeah, that's that's so, quite an honor, and it's uh, yes. it's it'll be a little bit sad. Uh, Jackie Wolowski, who passed away, yep. she's a strong supporter yep. of them. I'm sure they will be recognizing. Yeah. She was uh, at. Jackie. When we that were there two years ago or three years ago, whatever it was, um, for the last event, she was the featured speaker at that event. Yep. So yep. Uh, just just a nice person. But you know what? The crazy thing is women have such a decision making role in the purchase of an RV. And now more and more women are hitting the road by themselves or with husbands or or whoever they're they're traveling with. 
but they are a major force in the industry. Well, and, and um, IBWA was was founded to right. foster networking and the advancement of women within these large corporations. So yep. they've got a lot of senior level executives now joining RBWA, Winnebago, Lippert, a uh, lot of big companies, Keystone with their designers. Uh, they are there. So they're going to have a tremendous influence on the younger women that are joining and, and getting involved in the RV industry. And they'll all have the pleasure of hearing me speak on Tuesday. Right. Hey, I'll miss it. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, maybe you can put your phone up on the podium and yeah, uh, right. do it. We'll, we'll do, broadcast a Facebook, live. do a Facebook live for me. We'll yeah. do a live, something like that. But you know yes. what? Um, it's going to be a great week. It's always a great week for RVing. And we want to thank our friends at RV Business and Woodall's Campground Magazine. We'll be uh, bumping into our friends, Kessler and and Sherm and Ben. We'll all be out there and yep. um, we'll be um, working and having fun at the same time, which yep. really is, is what more and more people. One more topic. More and more people, because of COVID, are working from their RV. And I'm sure that there are going to be units that are built by a wide variety of manufacturers that take that into account, that have a home office built right in to the space where they're not working off a laptop. Uh, I haven't skipped a beat. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I tested this morning positive and uh, I've got my park model up here in Old Orchard Beach. I got my office right here and yep. I don't plan on skipping a beat. I just plan on skipping Elkhart, unfortunately. Right. Okay, everybody, that is it for, what's the name of the show, Bob? The Camp Report Show. Stay with us. to the Camper Report Show, and I'm here with my good friend Claude Donati, co-founder of Nexus RV. And Claude, the place is packed out there. Yes, sir, it is. Um, it was a big unknown what was going to happen here after some of the uh, economic news that was released with the inflation being at 8.3% yesterday. But I got to tell you, um, this is my 23rd Hershey show, or Harrisburg show, if you've been around long enough. And the excitement with the customers as as good as it's ever been. I don't want to say it's a record feel, but the first day for us personally, this is one of our higher volume first days we've ever had. That's amazing. I, I noticed the crowds today were really good and the forecast is incredible for four days. So I, I think they might break an attendance record. You know, it's it, I've been here when the floods have happened yeah. down at Harrisburg <laughs> yeah. and when, even in Hershey, there is submerged RVs for many years. but. Uh, clear uh, 84 and sunny for the rest of the week. Yep, remember when the water was up to the door and yes. yeah, you waded through it. You know, one of the things that's uh, one of the developments in the industry right now is the emphasis, renewed emphasis on super seas. And you were early on into that game. You may have even been one of the original creators of it. Um, tell, talk to us about super seas in general, and then let's talk about your new product. You know, I just spent some time on social media this week um, um, promoting the Verata Super C, the new product we have. And there is a dispute out there in the public about what is a Super C. And, and I feel like one of the OGs that I'm going to tell everybody what a Super C is. And it's really anything bigger than a 14,500 pound Ford chassis. It really starts at 19,500 pound GVWR. And it can go on to infinity. And infinity right now is about 60,000. Uh, GVWR. So it, the spectrum is wide. Uh, Super C really just means a commercial vehicle on, underneath a converted RV. That's really what it means. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your new product and, and the price points of Super Cs. I think a lot of people thought that they were very expensive or the ones that came on the market early were very expensive, but you've brought it down to a mainstream product. Initially, back in the early 2000s, a Super C meant almost a handcrafted, custom-built tractor over the road truck that would be a Peterbilt or a Freightliner, and they were very expensive, and they were purchased by people that were in NASCAR and actors and 
uh, really just out of the realm of the normal public. Well, one of the first things I thought I was part of is a group of people that got a very affordable Super C under $200,000 back in the early 2000s so that everybody could start to enjoy them. Well, what's happened is there's about five or six manufacturers that are building these products and it's really taken off. I think it's chopping into some of that Class A business. It's easier to drive, they're easier to service. Um, you tend to get more bang for your buck. They perform better um, from a maneuverability standpoint. So there's a lot of real good advantages to that product. Well, the inflation hits and prices have gone up to the point where a lot of them are right over 200, $250,000. Our goal at our company is to try to keep everything underneath $200,000. And our brand new Verado, which is a four by two, 28 foot full wall slide built on the Chevy chassis with a 350 Dur Duramax diesel engine, Allison Tranny Air Ride, is at the show, it's a sale price of 159 to 169. I, I, I was stunned when I went by and saw that, but uh, it's getting an awful lot of attention. It's huge, a beautiful looking coach. Huge amount of attention. You know, we don't have paint on it. It isn't meant to be uh, competing with the with the Rebels from our own brand or with the Magnitude or the Jayco Seneca. It's meant to give those people an opportunity who have been hit with inflation and can't afford to go any higher, give them a chance to buy a diesel in a super seat category. And that's really what we're trying to do with that in a smooth riding and a functional coach. It's only 28 feet? 28 feet, and it's got air ride, which is something you never see in this price point. We elected not to do the 4x4 so that we could offer an air ride option. Of course, it's standard, but to offer air ride. And what we're hearing from people that have, to have driven it, the professionals that brought it out here, and our staff, it rides like an SUV. That's that's incredible. And overall, the show has been very good for you. Super. We're only into our first day. Super. Um, we didn't know our location isn't the best. Um, I, I was surprised that we have gotten the amount of traffic we've gotten. Um, we're right next to one of the entrances, which was helpful. And from the word go today, I bet we've been five or six deep with people negotiating the purchase of their RVs. I think we'll end up somewhere around seven to ten units for the first day. We've already got six or seven in the bag. So this is my best first day in 20 years. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. and We're the beneficiary of the bad times and inflation and COVID and what have you. But it's a mainstream product now. You cannot go, you can't have a family discussion about going on vacation without Disney World and cruise ships and airplanes coming in and RVs are now part of that discussion. In every family, anybody that's thinking about their, their free time and their family time. You hear more advanced thinking about details of um, RVing. For example, um, somebody bought a brand new Class A uh, Bounder in April of last year and now they're trading it in on a Super C because they have a specific need to tow their ATVs to a place up in Maine, and that's where they go every year. And now, instead of just taking two, they get to take all four ATVs, so they all four can drive. So you're hearing a lot of these real advanced stories about people that have become more educated on the detailed performance issues they need, and Super C's seem to answer a lot of that. That's a, that's a good point, because we know that a lot of people jumped into RVing because of the crisis and the COVID crisis, and many bought units that they weren't sure what they were because they'd never experienced the RV lifestyle and they're trading them in right away. They are. Now, once they get out there and they learn about it and, and learn about the different types of RVs, they're a much more knowledgeable buyer. They, they are a different type of consumer um, than we had 20 years ago, but they certainly have very specific needs that they've planned for. They come armed with details. Um, I had a guy that showed me a picture of his driveway and the wheelbase of my <laughs> unit would fit to allow him to have enough overhang because the ravine went down after his driveway. He's down to inches on his wheel uh, wheelbase to determine what he's looking for. So This guy's determined. Yes, he is. <laughs> but he knows what he wants. And, and that's the difference. I think we had some of those people 20 years ago, but now it feels like more of those people are like that and fewer just walk in and sign paper. They are more educated now than ever. And, and your customer base, you know, we say for the industry, we got everybody from very young adults to mature, retired people. Are you seeing that in the products suite that you have also? Yeah, I, I, we had a couple of young customers that um, bought some units today. They were affluent, 
hugely successful business people at a young age. Um, it's not even about the money for them. It was more about you know the, the experience, what they're gonna do with it. And then we get a lot of people that are older. The, the, and older is my age and older, I'll, I'll say 55 I'm, and older. I'm, I'm older. Yeah, you, you would be older <laughs> too. And it's funny because the super seat kind of tends to make those people feel better about traveling because it's safer. You're in your SUV, sort of, because the cockpit feels the same. Mm -hmm. So they're not scared like the diesel pusher customer we used to go on a test drive with that could barely hang on to the steering wheel. These people are in the right setting for a safe experience. And um, the, the, their money doesn't seem to be coming up too much, but we know that we're, we're making an impact by making sure our prices are right. Well, it'll get their attention. It, it brings they, them in they, the door. Because they didn't expect to come and see something in that range and something so good in that range that's right yeah all right my guest today is claude donati co-founder of nexus rv we'll put the uh, urls and some pictures down below and uh, good to see you down here claude have a great rest of the week all right thank you bob appreciate it mike here from rv blogger don't waste hundreds of dollars on an external gps for your rv all you need to do is download the rv life app right onto your phone. This app is so cool. It has RV GPS built right into it. So you can load all the specific measurements and weights for your RV. It'll give you directions safe for your RV to follow. And by the way, if you have RV Trip Wizard, directions for your trips upload into this GPS automatically. Hey everybody, we have something exciting today. We have a tour. One of the first views ever of the new range line from Airstream. And here is our host extraordinaire, Patrick Botticelli, of New Jersey Outdoor Adventures and Colonial Airstream. John, always great to be on your channel. Today, I want to show you the all new 2023 Airstream range line. This is built on the Ram Promaster 3500 series chassis, 159 inch wheelbase extended platform. Comes in two exterior colors. Comes in silver or the granite. Pretty simple. Pretty silver simple. or granite. And there's two different interior decors. We have the okay. Admiral Navy and there's a Moonstone Gray. We'll see that later. Okay. One floor plan, but there is one available option. So you have a choice of colors and one option. There is a pop top option. You can see that all the way down there. Down there, yeah. And that will sleep an additional two people. Now, here's the thing. Starting MSRP is 131.882 plus destination. The pop top is about $11,000. So very, very simple floor plan and very efficient. So Airstream paid a lot of attention to detail when they built this Ram Promaster chassis. They ordered it as a window van. So it has windows all ah, the way around. Ah, okay. And so they, that, that sign right there, Patrick, is just for demo purposes, yeah, right? This is glass behind here. Yeah, okay. Airstream replaced three windows, so they have three venting windows on board. Ah. Uh, but very luxurious, very, instead of cutting holes in the side, very clean look. Yep. Then it's got running boards down the side, dog leash holder here. Dog leash. Premium woven, you gotta come in to see this. This floor is fantastic. Premium woven vinyl flooring throughout. Oh yeah, it, it, it's not just a uh, print. It, it will catch cushioning. the dirt and catch the dust and all the cabinets are pliable with laminate. No sticker, no Folks, you notice board. the way he, he used that Vanna White uh, swipe of the hand. Got to do that. Okay. Screen oh. door. Oh, screen door. So that you got ventilation. No snaps, zippers, magnets. Regular screen door, screen just like door. you have at a house. Grab handle to get in. Low, high, all aluminum. Then <clears throat> you come inside, you want to take your shoes off. There is storage here right there and there's a rubber mat you could take that out and uh clean it got some cubbies over here we can put a pet in there too driver and passenger swivel chairs both swivel all the best in class ram promaster features here rear view driving camera huge display up front they really do We're an incredible job sun. getting these equipped and these swivel chairs um really they they turn from the truck to the house and all at once. Airstream recovers them and refoams them. Then the table 
is on a sliding track. So if you lift it up high enough, you can slide it back and okay. forth. And this is an extension. So okay. look at that. You want to eat with me? Come on. I've got plenty of room here. Okay. Then this goes right has three-point shoulder harnesses. Now this isn't just a bench with some cushions on top. This is a regular seat. And it's got child ah, seat tethers okay. built into yep, it. Yep, yep. Underneath, That's so important, Patrick. Now, are you finding a lot of younger families uh, need that car seat? Absolutely. Oh, storage underneath. Under storage. You got electrical, USB. Four, four USB ports. Can't have enough USB. Four, and regular, regular. Power. Behind here, some storage. You could put some like chairs, a roll of okay. chairs back here. Yeah. Then you have two roof lockers up here. Look at the hardware they used. It's all finished on the inside. Yep. Yep. It's uh, not just that uh, plastic stuff that will... Uh, aluminum ceiling, break. just like uh, the rest of the Airstream travel trailers. LED lights, of course. Max Air fan. They finish out this upper cubby, cubby that oh. all the Rams have. They call it the pizza oven in the, in the business. But look at this <laughs> nice trim they have on it. It's not just wide open. And then you probably jump into that uh, driver's seat so we can get a good position this way. Everything here is touchscreen control oh, look for the that. lights, All at once. the generator. Now, there's no propane on board. Everything either runs on a 270 amp hour game changer battle born battery with heat or 200 watts of solar or a 2.8 200 watts on the roof generator. So it has an owning generator on board. So no propane. Uh, you could also download the app and you can control things locally. So if you're at the campground near the motorhome, yep. you can control locally on your phone if you wanted to. But it also has the Timberline gasoline furnace and hot water. So no propane furnace, no propane hot water. It's all done by the Timberline gasoline. Countertop here. Look how smooth and neat these cabinets are. They're all even. This one opens up and you have an induction oh, 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 cooktop, oh, yeah. right? You can bring it outside and cook. It is a, oh, outside too, right? Yeah, it's a true induction, 1,000 watt. Over here, you got some storage. It's all boxed construction. Now this one, check this out. It looks like two drawers, but it's only one. You got the trash, trash. panel here. You can put your trash bags over here. You got some more drawers here, three even ones. This one's faux because it has a stainless steel sink, sink. with bamboo cutting yeah and the faucets off to the side and then there is this outlet Power. that pops out of the counter yeah. nice and neat but when you need it boom pineapple is optional yeah, there you go JBL speaker here some key hooks this light flips down pretty cool right instead of having directional. a directional reading light yeah here some cubbies over here so Ooh. basically it's kind of like an airliner um, galley because you've got every space six foot two and a half tall this van is 20 feet 11 inches it's got a gross vehicle weight rating of 9350 pounds 28 gallon freshwater tank 19 gallon gray waste tank and a 12 gallon black waste tank so it doesn't have a cassette toilet it's got a regular holding tank which uh, a lot of people prefer check out these little hooks here yeah clothing clothing hooks yeah or and you then, can put uh, pictures of you or me there's a 2000 watt inverter on board, so you can power up the microwave. You don't have to start a generator. 0.07 cubic foot regular microwave, 3.4 cubic foot Vertifrigo refrigerator with a 0.04 cubic foot freezer. It is all compressor driven. Again, no propane. Check this out. Down here, you can, dog you can put dishes. your dog food there. Pretty cool, right? And then up top, there's some more storage. And then you could also control the lighting from a control board here. And this is all Bluetooth, so you can move this control wherever you want inside. And before we get to the bathroom, let me just show you this bed. 75 inches, 75, right? By 52. Okay, this is the only demo I've been to where the, the person gets demo the has gotten. You got some storage up here, so while you're in bed, you know, you have access, you got some over here. And you know what? It's like if you have to get up. This is a good size bed. You're not going to hit your head on it. Yeah. And look up top. There's a 13,500 B2 air conditioning Coleman mock with the built-in soft start. So you're not going to get that big surge yep. when the generator starts. And over here, there's a cell phone charger right okay. on the wall. 
automatic and then charger. All these zip up for privacy, and they uh, Velcro in, and there's pockets built into them. Yeah, that window Some more does have lights here. That window does have ventilation in it, right? Electrical outlet. Yes, venting window here, here. More pockets. Roll down screen for the back. Now I gotta fold this up because I'm gonna show you a unique, unique feature. Okay. This folds back. Now I just started playing around with this late yesterday, so I'm still. Because this the, is brand new. Do you have these in well, the showroom yet? Brand. This is the one going to Colonial uh, Airstream. Okay. Now this flips up and folds back. Look at that. Rather easily. And scraps in, but these little slats give you some spring. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. When you're in bed and it's yep. vented, and then you got some cubbies here. The big game changer 270 amp hour batteries in here with heat, fuses and breakers here, aisle lights, tie down for your mountain bike if you want to bring a mountain bike yep. inside. Yep. S service access because a freshwater tank is in here, the water pump. You got 28 gallons to use. You got a drawer over here. And then, uh, check this out. To get in the bed, you don't have to oh. jump up like I did. There's a step. And look at this, you can even hide stuff in here. And then this you could use for wardrobe because no one hangs clothes in the RVs anymore. Yeah. Um, but you could roll things up and put them in here. These shelves even are adjustable. And then in the bathroom, it's got a timbre door. Really sleek. And then I'm going to jump in there because I'm going to show you. I'm 5'9". And I got sneakers on. Yeah. I can still stand up straight. Yep. Yeah. In the shower. Got a mirror. Shower wand comes off the wall. Hot and cold water, of course. Sink. Sink. Flips down right here. Toilet, regular uh, Dometic toilet. Not a shelf toilet. Correct. A, a real toilet. Real toilet. You got heat inside here, plenty of lights, plenty of room, you know? I'm not going to sit on the toilet, John, but you get the idea. Yeah, I get it. Then there's a toilet paper holder that's waterproof. Yep. And uh, there we go. Now you can get a, a view back to front so you can see how much room we got here. There's plenty of room. Come on outside. Let me show you some more. So I have a lot more to show you. There's a Thule manual awning. Um, uh, it comes out pretty far. There's a really bright porch light here. Then you got uh, outside electrical outlet back here. Buckles for the awning. Around back, you're going to have to come in with me because I'm going to open this door all the way around. Tight quarters here at Hershey. Look at this. Fresh water fill here. There's a light, a courtesy oh, easy, light. So easy to fill. You don't have to get underneath. Look at the way they did this treatment here. I like that. It's pretty sharp. You know, diamond plating all bent. Uh, but you can really, with this L track, it gives you a lot of flexibility for uh, being able to put lots of cargo and gear. Got an outlet back here because it's, you know, you're going to have the back doors open. You might need to plug something in and a battery disconnect switch. And then look at these Molly racks here. You could strap in all sorts of gear. People love these things. Well, they actually made yeah, their own. Get behind that, show the difference. Show it that it's 3D. I can't get my hand oh. there. There we oh, go. Oh, <laughs> I see it. I see what it is. Okay. Yeah. You get yeah. it. Well, a little pocket. And then there's one here on yeah. the other side. Bungee cords. And Bungee cord time. Let's go around. Oh, you could tow 3,500 pounds. 3,500? 3,500 3, pounds. Okay. And then there's a very clean line. So when Airstream built this, they didn't want like all the fittings and holes yep. on the side. So, you know, two exhaust, one for the Timberline gas heater, one for the generator. And these are the new inverter generators, so they're not noisy like the old generators used to be. They really hum. They're quiet. Very discreet. 30 amp smart plug connection. Black tank and gray tank, waste dumps here. And then check this out, you unscrew this and there's a magnet to keep it open if you wish. There's a spray port, city water connection, black tank flush, and a light here oh, to illuminate one. this area. But like, when you're all done. Close it. It closes up and you tighten it and then you can't even see that it's there. So when you look down the side of this van, it just looks like a passenger van. Yep. Big step here to get in, the cab area. And then, check out this grill. You know, these Rams usually have a bright chrome grill. Airstream had it painted to match the black body panels. And instead of painting all these panels to match the body, a lot of our Airstream customers are adventurers. They're going 
off the grid, off the beaten path. And they're going through brush. And these things can take a beating. You can wet sand them. You can replace this cheaper than a painted panel. So that sums up the regular one. Let's head over to the pop top version. And while we're doing that, we're going to pass through. We're going to be able to see the other color inside. Oh, and uh, insulation. These doors, the way they feel, they're sprayed with lizard skin. So instead of regular insulation all around, lizard skin. A lot of people might not know what that is. Think of a sink in a house. When you tap on it, it sounds solid, like a stainless steel sink. If you look underneath your sink, under the counter, it has that spray coating on it. Yep. Similar to what they do to this. It gives you great insulation factor, and ah. it makes it very quiet when you're driving. Here is the Moonstone Gray. Now, the rest of the decor is identical. Everything is the same, just the seat color is different. This is the Moonstone. And then this is the Granite Metallic. Look at that beautiful oh, metallic. flake okay. in there. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah, your, your traditional silver. Now, this is, uh, this is exciting. So they do the pot top, and it just has this extra cowl here on the front. And they move the clearance okay, lights yep, yep, up. Yep, yep, yep. But look what it could do. Everything's the same inside. It just has this hole cut out, all right? And you get this ladder. This ladder folds away and tucks away. But well, I'm going to go up it. Okay. And I want you to be able to reach up too. Yeah. Because there's there's some cool stuff up here. So Patrick's going up to the second floor. And just the other day, my granddaughter asks, Papa, what if we have so an RV with two floors? USB. USB charging. Giving a light. Look yep. up. There's a fan. Fan. Well, see, pop tops don't have fans. Heat. Look at these cool lights up here, too. And all this zips down. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? And then this has this is a teddy bear mattress. Feel it. It's yep. unbelievable. And then yep. underneath it has Oh, slats. so you're not sitting on and look, the roof. This is the roof of the van. But you've got some. Push down on that, Patrick, with your hands there. Got some spring. Yeah, you got some flexibility, so you're not, like, sleeping on the floor. I'm 5'9". Look how big this thing is. I'll go all the way to the back. Yeah. I got so much extra room here. And if I have to sit up, you know, I know you're not supposed to wear your shoes in bed, but look at this. I can sit up and you could unzip this front window and you could watch the sunset. Okay. Isn't that great? You Perfect. could be in your van. Perfect. And the fit and finish here. It's unbelievable. It's really. I mean, it's 11,000 and change option, but I think it's worth it. Yep. If someone needs to sleep extra people. Yep. Exactly. Now I'm going to jump down. And I'm going to get out of your way when you jump down. Well, and you don't have to jump down. The ladder is very easy. Again, everything here, Patrick, it's the exact same floor plan, which makes it easier. Not 17 floor plans to pick from. I'm sure this will be a success. And I'm sure down the road there'll be more floor plans. But yep. this is where they're starting. And keep it simple. You don't need a major list of options, right? Just make it with everything. So you could sleep, really sleep four in this. You could sleep four, and you could comfortably yep. seat. That's the yep. thing. Uh, you know, some other uh, camper van conversions, the uh, extra seats are not going to be as comfortable. So how excited would you be to go for an RV ride if you're not comfortable in your seat? So this, that first one we saw, that is available at Colonial Airstream. And you could uh, go to colonialairstream.com and check them out. And if you want to check out the range line, uh, there's uh, this video. Obviously, it will be on YouTube. Well, this but is probably the more brochure with all the specs and details. I rattled through most of them, but there's more. There's yeah. more to this. It's probably the most comprehensive video we'll see because we've got every nook and cranny. And here's the thing I like that little. Um, yeah, you, you know, you're not going to bump into. Where's the stove? Right here. The stove, okay. Right there. So the beauty of that is it, it's put away because. You know, a lot of times you don't even need the stove, but it takes up counter space, and counter right. space is more valuable than the stove. So you can run that here, or run it outside. Yeah. And that induction means it doesn't get hot, right? Correct. It's okay. safe for kids too. Yep. Certain kind of pans. Yeah. But a um, little bit of rules, a little bit of learning curve. You whatever. never did an induction cooktop yeah. before. And the reality is, when a lot of campers cook, they're cooking outdoors, yeah. and you got plenty of room back there for your Blackstone grill or. Uh, anything like that. So um, ballpark 
Um, I know you mentioned it before, but 131, 882 destination without is 2700 the and the pop top roof. This is uh, uh, the pop top is going to be available later in production, so not initially right away. Right now, they're ramping up the regular production first, uh, but there's a limited amount of chassis available, so uh, it's first come, first serve. I'm sure at the show we'll sell through a majority of them. Great. So I hope you get this video up really fast. Great. So, Patrick, we want to thank you so much for taking time from your busy day here at the show. Again, Colonial Airstream in New Jersey. One of the um, top Airstream dealers in the country, right? That's right. I've been okay. with uh, Colonial for 25 years, selling Airstreams for 20 years. And the beauty of it is, is that you are an RVer. So many times you get sales reps that can talk a good game, but they've never experienced you gotta it. Gotta get out there and do it. You gotta experience You gotta be engaged in yep. the lifestyle in order to sell the lifestyle. And, and you want an Airstream. I own two. Two, okay. No one needs two Airstreams, right? right? But <laughs> when you own an Airstream, it become, becomes addicting, so then you yep. want more. Yep, exactly. I just need more time to use them. You know, so you know how busy it is. So it is the range line. It's from Airstream, and we're going to suggest that you call Patrick or go to your local dealer if you're in California or Colorado or Connecticut or whatever. Customers from all over the all country. Over the we welcome you. Great. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for joining us.